The federal fire department is now reviewing all of its fire trucks and procedures following an incident over the weekend that blocked lanes of the H1 freeway. On Saturday morning, a fire hose fell off the truck in the middle of the freeway. Navy Region Hawaii told us the truck was not responding to an emergency at the time. We wanted to speak with federal fire officials, but they would not give us an interview today and told us they're still looking into how this happened. But Sarah Madison was able to get answers on how the fire hoses are stored. Sarah? Joe, since Navy Region Hawaii couldn't talk to us, we reached out to other fire officials. President of the Hawaii Firefighters Association, Bobby Lee, told me that there are different ways to secure equipment on a fire truck. We wanted to learn more about that, so today I spoke with a member of the State Fire Council who says every fire department sets up its own policies. I learned there are no set regulations on how fire hoses are stored, just best practices. What every fire department does is set up its own policies and standard operating guidelines. That's something that can be handled very well within the purview of the individual department. In a statement, Navy Region Hawaii told us the federal fire department uses hose bed covers designed to keep the hoses within their compartments. As a result of this incident, we examined each of our engines and the security of the hoses. State Fire Council Administrator Socrates Bertakos tells me he's seen fire hoses fall off trucks in the past. So because this happens, should more be done? Uh, I would say no, because um, every department should just make sure they adhere to their, uh, to their policies and their standard operating uh, guidelines. There's fire trucks that are responding with hoses and driving around town really literally hundreds of times a day. And this has a, a very infrequent occurrence. HFD was on scene to help federal firefighters pick up the fire hose. The state transportation department was not called to help, but on average, transportation maintenance crews receive about 5,000 calls a year to remove debris from state roads on Oahu. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.